This is part two of Lino Cut, and in this one we're going to be uh, drawing our image onto the block. Um, me personally, I like to kind of set it off with a little frame. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I personally wouldn't go into too much detail as you have to remove uh, material and it's just uh, the more lines you have and the more detail you have is also the more possibility for uh, ruining the piece and not getting a good image. Not to say you can't, it's just uh, me personally, I would stick to simple shapes. Simple designs, don't get too complex. Uh, if you could do, think cartoony, rough it out. But anyway, uh, I started off in a pencil with this. It didn't show up for you guys, so I went to the good old magic Sharpie. I'm like obsessed with the Sharpie, so I've seen a lot of the folks do the Lino Cut demos and they don't show up their drawing. Their drawings don't show up so well because they're using pencil. And it doesn't matter, you can use a pen. I mean, you're, you're going to re be removing material. It's not like it's going to be an image on the paper, it's going to be stamped, so you'll never even know that this was black, like as dark as it is. So we got a good heart, sacred heart. I'll just darken the edges for my cut. Can I get that shape I can follow around a little bit better? And this is how I frame off a piece. For some reason I'm also obsessed with having my images pop off the frame. I guess uh, in my painting it started from this and bled into my painting. Not a bad image. Now let's set up some some empty space around it. You could do whatever you like though. I'm just trying to do opposite of the one that I currently have in my hands and I'll use all my other bags. I do some cross hatching. lines here you'll be cutting them out